Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Complex Leverage Buyout Modeling. We have already at this point created our LBO summary, our sources and uses, and all of our deal structure, as well as all the inputs and our switches to the model. We will now focus our attention on the balance sheet. A couple of things that I need you to be aware of here at this point is, take a look at row 28 and 29 your cash flow from financing activities. Right now, in the status quo scenario, we would have estimated we paid that amount, 114 dividends, and we're gonna buy back 1750. But upon an LBO, or even a 40% recap, which we'll build in enhancements after this, when we do that, these numbers should all go to zero. We will not want to pay dividends, because we need to pay down debt, pay down principal, build our equity, reduce our interest expense as fast as we can to pay down more debt. And we will also not buy back this massive amount of shares. So I need you to help me build a toggle that says, in a status quo, no transaction scenario, these numbers are good. But anything aside from that, you want to blow them out. Zeros. So here's what I want you to do. We already have that switch built in in our switches on our LBO summary. Go to H27 and type in the word active question mark. Active question mark. In H28 and H29, I need you to grab in the switch that says, do you want to maintain your dividends or your repurchase program? Right now the answer is no because we're in the LBO scenario. H28 equals on the cash statement, right? H20 on the cash statement equals. Control page up three times the LBO summary and say equals W6. Recall, that W6 says, do I want to maintain my current dividends? No. Neither for share repurchase. Hit enter. And in H29, I went here to control D. So you should now say summary W6 and W7. 